till now we have been running our all our tests on a real chrome browser right in our operating system like a windows but now i'm going to show you how you can run your tests in a chrome headless browser now what is a headless browser a headless browser is a web browser without any gui right so it will not be visible on your screen when you run any tests on your headless browser right or you launch a headless browser so headless browser it provides control of a web page where you can run your automated tests in an environment similar to a web browser but it is executed by a via a command line interface right so that's the whole concept of headless browser um it actually doesn't require any gui it can run from the command line now chrome has started shipping this headless mode from the 59 version so if you are using a version more than 59 you will be able to use this headless browser right now uh, previously selenium also used to have a few other headless browsers like uh, html unit driver and uh, phantom js driver right so it had this different drivers but i think from the uh, latest in some of the latest versions of selenium um, this may not be available because chrome has started providing its own headless browser so i think uh, this is the best option uh, when you don't want to run your tests on a actual uh, gui browser right if you want to run it headless this is the best option to use now what are the advantages the obvious advantages are better performance because uh, it will have faster response your test will run in a very i mean your test will run very fast compared to an actual browser right because there is no gui involved so the actions will not take a lot of time it will be, it will move very fast compared to an actual gui right then um, the next biggest advantage is platform independence right so if you can run a particular a particular test in a headless browser in some operating system like windows right you can easily do it in linux or a mac right so or on a particular server right if you are running all your tests on a web server but you don't want to launch a browser there right you just want to run from the command line right so you don't want to have that ui shell uh, or you don't want to um, launch browser for every test where you are while you are running your tests on a web server so at that time you can use uh, this headless browsers right now the next advantage is it allows uh, testers who are executing this test to multitask right uh, now this is not possible when you are uh, running all your tests on your local machine right so you cannot interact with any other application or anything else in your system right because if the test is running then if you interact with anything else your test will get uh, disturbed right so they will start failing because uh, the mouse and keyboard events are um, going on when you are executing your tests right so basically uh, you can't touch your system while the tests are running now imagine if uh, your tests are running for um more than 5 to 6 hours then uh, you just need to sit in front of the computer and watch your tests run right you cannot do anything else now that that is not uh, the case in the case of headless browser right so you can easily um, run your tests in the headless browser and you can perform some other tasks so that's how it allows you to do multitasking right so these are some of the advantages now obviously there are some disadvantages like you cannot actually see uh, what is happening on your on your tests right so it will be a little hard to debug um, and uh, obviously if your application is not responding um, in a proper way then running your tests in headless browser will be difficult because uh, it might not work uh, if 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 there is a lot of lag between your application and your scripts right so you need to uh, consider what are the advantages and what are disadvantages before running your tests on a headless browser right so it depends on your application completely now let's have a um, let me show you how you can use it use this in real time right 
so till now we have been using this uh, statements to launch a chrome chrome browser right so we set the property to the driver and the path right where the ex is present and then we are creating a new chrome driver and then we are using it to um, automate our scenarios right so we'll be doing um, the same way here also the only differences will be changing uh, will be adding some more chrome options here right so we'll be using chrome options and let's initialize this and we'll create and we'll initialize this chrome options then we'll use these options to add arguments right here we will add headless so that's pretty much it you need to do in order to use the headless browser right in in the driver while creating the new driver instance you need to pass this options here right now what uh, what i want to do is i want to um, launch an app launch uh, our banking application right and i want to perform some operations here and we'll also put a validation just to make sure that our operations were successful right so i want to enter a username password click on sign in go to the next page and we'll validate something on that page so that uh, we will be sure that our script is working right so this is what we are going to do so let's do this quickly so this we have been doing a lot during our uh, other videos right so i'll just quickly uh, type all these commands so dot send keys and here qs script 20 at gmail.com then you can use this to enter the password so here it will be password and here the value so qs script one two three and then sorry then we can use this to on our submit button right so that has got a id submit dot click right now after we go into the welcome page right um, a welcome text will be displayed so let's do that also so we will use an xpath a common xpath which will have a text or which will contain so we'll use contains here and then we will um, do text and here we will use welcome right so yeah so and what we want to do is so let's make this we store it in an element so that i can use it to uh, validate it right so web element element equals to this and then let's let's print out the value right so system but out dot print print ln and uh, so uh, welcome text is we will get element or we will just print out whether this element is present or not right so element dot is displayed right so let's see whether it returns a true or false so this is my script right now i'm going to run this on a headless browser so while executing this test you will not be seeing a browser actually launched but we will have a look at the logs and find out whether this test is running or not right and also by using this validation like element is displayed we will make sure that our script is running fine right so let's do this so i've started executing 
so this time around you will not see the browser getting launched uh, the actual ui but you will see it in the logs that it is getting launched right so should be launching now but everything is happening from the command line not from the ui right so you can see here chrome driver was started successfully now as i was talking about multitasking right so as you can see i can easily interact with this application it doesn't impact my tests running in the background right so you can see chrome chrome driver was started successfully and it is executing the scripts here so if you if you put something in the logs right here if you put some logging everything will be printed on the uh, console so you can make sure that your uh, tests are running fine with the help of assertions and with the help of logging right so as you can see it has printed true here right so this element is displayed on the welcome page and that's our test so it has finished executing now with the help of reporting logging and assertions you can actually make your tests work on a headless environment right without any gui so uh, that's it for uh, the headless browser thing right where you can run your tests uh, in headless mode and later we will be looking at some of the other concepts in selenium and also some of the test frameworks like testng and cucumber